At a children's museum in Reno, more than a dozen people hurt by the plash. Children sent to the hospital. And ABC's Aditi Roy is live in Reno right now. Good morning, Aditi. Good morning, George. 13 people were injured in that incident, mostly children. One child remains in the hospital right now, listed in good condition. Now, things are calm right now in front of the hospital right now, but just 12 hours earlier, it was utter chaos as a science demonstration went horribly wrong. Okay, ready? <laughs> Shrieks of terror ripple through the Discovery Museum in Reno after a routine science experiment breaks down. Most people ran and panicked. I grabbed children and started pulling them to the sides away from me. Jackie Ryder shot this video. It shows what officials say was a chemical flash resulting from a mixture of methyl alcohol and boric acid routinely used at the exhibit. Flames appear to fall off the table and onto the floor, just feet away from a group of children. Among them, Jackie's niece. She was on fire, completely on fire. Her hair, her back, her face. 13 people were injured. Officials say the science demonstration, which takes place daily at the museum, was supposed to simulate a tornado. The executive director of the museum said in a statement, we are committed to determining the cause of this incident. We're going to figure out what happened and how to make it, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Still, some parents say they're not coming back. Not anytime soon. There was minimal damage at the museum. Now, it shut down early yesterday, but is expected to reopen later on this morning as investigators try to piece together exactly what went wrong. George? Yeah, this is a strange one. Okay, Aditi, thank you.